The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Hi, I'm Stephanie Fredrickson with the Cowboy Football Roundup. With each passing draft, it's become clear that Oklahoma State is a consistent producer of NFL talent. And when you talk about uh, the direction of the program, where it's been, where it started, um, you know, you look back and you see these guys coming in now and, and the level of athlete that's coming into Oklahoma State has been tremendous. Yeah, I mean, you have to attract NFL caliber players, guys that have the uh, potential to do that eventually. Um, so that's big and just that goes back to the facility here and being able to recruit, being able to recruit that type of talent in. Uh, but secondly, once you get them here, uh, uh, is there a commitment from the staff, support staff, strength and conditioning, position coaches, the head coach to develop that kid and maximize his potential to get him there? Not all drafted players came in as highly touted recruits, but were developed while on campus. Going along with some of the uh, athletes that we've had a chance to recruit, and we've had some great athletes come through here, no question. But there are also guys that uh, you know come in here built off of uh, their competitive spirit and their drive and their character. Justin Blackman, who everybody knows, that uh, he really made his name for us in, our, in the camp, and uh, we kind of took notice to him, and and he ran a four six in that camp, but then developed himself. Uh, here at Oklahoma State through our strength program. You know, he's a guy that really was able to come in, take advantage of the things that were here. Now you see that guy every week making plays, you know, and here's a guy that's picked fifth in the draft overall that was very, very under the radar as far as a recruit. Uh, the Kendall Hunters, uh, the Russell Kongs, Brandon Pettigrew, those guys, their work ethic, uh, it didn't matter what time of year it was, what day uh, it was, they came with a tremendous passion to be successful. The resources at OSU give players the best chance possible to make it to the NFL level. The package that we have in store for them, you know, from academics um, to our strength staff with Glass, with Rob Glass and his crew, um, with the structure that Coach Gundy's put in place, um, with the support staff that we have throughout the building. Um, I just, I don't see, you know, I've been a few places and I don't see anywhere that's had better facilities or that has better facilities than Oklahoma State right now. And our guys do a great job of, of maximizing their time um, within that structure to, to get the most out of their abilities. With uh, what's been uh, put in place here facility-wise and the ability uh, to develop young men, I mean, if they come in with a commitment and a passion to be successful, uh, it, it'll happen. It, it just uh, You can look at the history, the past five or six years of what's taken place here, and you can see that. OSU currently has 20 players in the NFL, the third most in the Big 12 Conference. I'm Stephanie Fredrickson with the Cowboy Football Roundup, and we'll send it back to David Coach Gundy after the break. Time now for a look at your OG&E win power play of the game. J.W. Walsh gets a shot and snap, fakes a handoff, runs oh. it, makes a cut, and takes it into the end zone. He made two men look silly. Pistols firing, touchdown Oklahoma State. Two men with a peril hanging in the wind. 